Hello, brothers and sisters of Land. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down on nitty gritty. Under 10 minutes, if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. And I'm going to liberals, libertars, people, 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 these videos are not pertaining to the masses of asses. Listener's discretion is advised. What did I say? 80% of you who watch woman, child, I don't give a fuck if you're retarded, okay? Or crossbreed. Do not know who I am. Do not listen to my videos. If you take a portion of this video or any other videos, it cannot be taken to court. They will not allow video footage in the court. It will only prove my mental capacity, okay? Waste of time. No hate here. This is raw shit. That's why I label it for not for children because most women are children, okay? And a lot of you guys, too, are still children, too, because y'all's feet into the fucking game, okay? But, as I said before, let's talk about this subject I want to talk about. How to get out of a relationship if you don't want it and you know you deserve more, guys. doesn't matter if you're super attractive or not. I do not recommend guys to, you know, settle for less. I'm the one to try to build you up. I'm not going to be like Kevin Samuels to give you an image consultant, superficial means to gravitate towards used vagina. The pathology is simple. You got a big house. Don't get a big house. That's one. You, all you need is a decent ass car. As a matter of fact, it's better to get a fucking RV, motherfuckers. Yeehaw! Get a fucking RV and drive that motherfucker. You know what my Uncle Ernest used to do? He would have a van and go around fucking women all day long. Use pussy all day long with his purple ass van. And he drew this nice ass panther and shit on it because he was like, he was the real McCoy. I learned a little bit from my Ernest. My Uncle Ernest told me, take out malice in your heart. Don't kill the bitches. Don't kill the bitches. So I said, what do you do if she's trying to chop off your dick and chop off your nuts? I use voodoo. So I take it to the spirit. I, I, I take it to the spirit. I don't worry about it. I use magic. I just rather, I tell, I usually tell a female up front that if you fuck with me and I'm Jesus, I told you this in a certain way, I'm a word it. I'm a word it. Okay. You believe in Jesus? Okay. Oh, I believe in Jesus too. All right. So I'm going to be like, okay, we're going to read the book. Okay, if females fuck with you, I don't believe in marriage. Okay, truthfully, I don't. I had to get married because I was in Ethiopia. I told you this before. The voices told me to do something. I have to do it, but I can't. I'm limited on certain things. What the voices tell me to do, I cannot kill people. I cannot uh, do. I cannot do anything because if I if I put my mind to it, they do the work for me before I get to you. If I burn down your house, it's gonna be done, and you won't even know who hit you because I already told you in advance. Now, if you're in a relationship, I digress here. If you're in a relationship, this video is not about that. Okay, how I deal with women, okay, in my particular fashion. If you're in a relationship and you just you feel strongly that she's not compatible with you, she's not playing games enough with you, she's not going outside with you, and, you know, eventually she's going to get seasonal and she's going to leave you, okay, that's just common sense. 80%, there's a 70% ratio for divorce, so you better get out of that situation before it's too late. And don't come back to run into me 10 years later saying, <laughs> don't, don't do that, calm down. You have a chance to get out of the relationship right now. If you're married, get the divorce first. And she's more richer than you, plus for you, because you can get the house and everything. I just want a divorce. Da, 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 da. You can take advantage of the matrix. You listen to my videos. You did it before. But it's very important to um, ask a female if she's a virgin. Okay, you know, when you start dealing with females, I know that may be hard for a lot of you beta alphas out there, even you pretty boy fucks. Because you don't care if she's a virgin or not. I keep telling you guys, it's real important to do that. Okay. It's real important to do that. Get out of the relationship. Okay? If she's already used up, use a strap on or something. Your your manhood is at stake. Because I know guys don't want to keep using uh, condoms and cheap skin and shit. And shit fall off or she poke a hole in it. It's a whole lot of collateral damage and overhead. You got to deal with it if you make an accident. Oh my. So many guys I talk to in my inbox having four to five kids by two to three different this the biggest simps of all fucking time <sighs> but if you're in a relationship and you know your mental capacity is at stake okay and you're being abused and you have nowhere to go you come to me and we can pay for services and i can help you get out of that situation i'm the voodoo man okay 
That's what they used to call me in the past. My name is Knowledge. Okay? And so I try my best to help guys in their time of need, regardless of how attractive you are, whatever, yada, 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 yada. So you won't be in a relationship. If you feel like you need to be in a relationship, and you feel that you can't handle being alone, that's the problem right there. Desperation. You must eliminate that shit at all costs. Not in 2021, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you haven't, you found a girlfriend, it's time to get out of that relationship, okay? <laughs> because you deserve more. You deserve polygyny. Because I'm telling you right now, if you got, if you earned your house and you already got your two cars and all that shit, and you ask her, what does she earn in her life? Apples and oranges. She ain't, she ain't did shit in her life. Except lay down on her back. And what are you showing for that? What are you showing for it? You ain't showing shit for it, right? So, my message to you guys out there, as I say, I'm, I'm an advocate for more helping guys than women. When I talk to women, they don't hear me. So I have no choice, okay? You know, I still do have a choice. I still do give advice to women. Yeah, sure. So if any females listening to this, if they have heard it straight through here, I'm telling you, the new age man is not going to deal with your used pussy uh, problems. They're not going to deal with it. You're going to have to come more to the table with the, just the used pussy, okay? I'm just trying to tell you, beauty fades. And then... The pussy stinks, okay, after a while, okay, because you don't want to listen to how you can take care of your pH balance. You don't want to listen to Erica Badu, okay, or you don't want to listen to anybody who has some sort of ideas or some advice to keep your pussy fresh. But instead, you want to use Luma, okay, L-U-M-E, to keep your pussy fresh. Spray it. I seen it. I seen the spray. Okay, and I tell females all the time, I'm not talking to you, but I do have something for you. Loom, motherfucker. L-U-M-E. Okay. Deodorizer for your private parts. <sighs> but ser seriously, honest to God, I feel really feel bad for y'all females who have um, consorted to this method of attack, okay? Hurting men, okay? It doesn't matter white or black. As a matter of fact, it's not really wise to hurt a white man at all. As, <laughs> as we got me to attacking the white man, okay? So, <laughs> ain't hurting the black man. You don't see too many people getting in trouble with the the fucking Me Too movement with black people. No, not black people. The only, per only person that I, I can remember is actually Michael Jackson and, and Bill Cosby. They are the biggest affected ones. But other than that, I'm not worried about it. Do even Dr. Dre is going through some shit like that. So I ain't worried about that shit. I'm not part of that group of people. Take it in another country. Take it somewhere else. There are plenty of sites, dating sites out there where you can actually try to find virgins and also see if they're living with their families, following my instructions. And I give the advice, and so you take it, and you fly with it, okay? It's better to have your own shit. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. As an old head I am, I'm 47. I'll be 47 this year. Congratulations to me. You know you know what I did? I have um, did a great thing by bringing my wife over here, even though I didn't believe in marriage. As I told you before, I had to get married because my inner voices, the external voices, inner and external, and I had to psychoanalyze that shit, but the voice is telling me, oh, no, 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 forcing me to get married. I said, you better get married. And I said, you know what happens when you don't listen to us? I said, okay, I, I even have my marriage recorded, okay? And I did not look happy at all. As a matter of fact, during my marriage, my Ethiopian marriage, which is on Martha's Knowledge, the first one, the Martha's Knowledge, the first one, yes, I recorded my marriage, okay, Ethiopian wedding, my Ethiopian wedding, yes, that one. Um, I didn't look too happy, and, and, and this like, I had a crystal on me, okay, I had a, uh, a crystal quartz, okay, and I was like, oh, I hope this goes well, I hope this goes well, okay, because I already talked to her, my wife, and I talked to her sister, because I was trying to set it up, but it didn't work, but of course, they said, don't worry about it, we got your back, <laughs> again and again, they have succeeded, how do you think I give my soul, okay, no, 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 I didn't give my soul to the devil, but all this shit that I have is because of them, literally, okay, and so, when I talk to my psychiatrist about it, and I'm like, why ain't nobody, because they don't want to open that third eye, they don't want to open it, they're too scared, and it, it is a burden, yes, to have the open third eye open, it can be a burden if you don't have control over it, but you guys, this message is to you guys, okay, I don't know how to open your third eye, I think you can knock your head against the wall, okay, maybe you gotta stay in isolation for a few days, I don't know, I started hearing mine, when I was a young kid, before I almost chopped my stepdad head off, and it spoke to me clearly as day that you're God. And if you wait, okay, you wait. You have to you have to be the good guy and suffer. 
but it's really not necessary to get married. You don't need the marriage is a, a governmental construct. It's like an extortion construct. This is why black guys try to avoid it. They don't think about shit like that. But a lot of black guys are simps. So the best way to do it is to build your family and your empire through another source of means, okay? Going overseas, traveling abroad, okay? Um, I, what, what was this video about? Um, this video is about how to get out of the relationship that you have. So if you are in a relationship, okay, I'm taking my ginseng. I'm taking my ginseng, guys. Um, I'm taking my vitamin C. I don't believe in COVID, okay? But I, I've been... Take it. I don't. I don't get COVID. I don't get that shit. I take my zinc. Okay. You know. I do all that stuff. Okay. Let me see. I ain't got. Well, I ain't worried about all that diseases and stuff. But yeah. 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 Ginkgo helps with your memory. Okay. See. There's other things too. I take other things too to help my memory. But it's real important to get out of a relationship if you know you're incompatible from the jump, because women are not as logical as you are. And one thing is going to lead to another, and she's going to get bored. So get out while you still can. You've been warned. If you made it this far, and um, just don't say I didn't warn you. You'll be coming back to my video five years later, six years later. I've had guys do that. But you know how to pay my Patreon. Read my description in the box. Like, as I said before, I'm only, I'm 47. Half my life is over. Okay? So you ha we have time. We have time. I believe I'll be wealthy by the age of 50. Okay? Gotta, I got to write two books. Okay? Got, I got to write another 48 Laws of Power because I got that book. And I also got to write about the life of a schizo, okay? I have to write that shit for myself, okay? You know? And, of course, um, I know those books will be very popular if it's written by me because I know how to write. And I know how to speak, too, but I'd rather speak differently, okay, than everybody else. I don't want to sound and look like everybody else, man, you know? Um, other than that, that's all I really wanted to say, you guys. Get out of the relationship in the most professional manners as possible by getting a divorce. Um, she'll ask you why, okay, because say so you want polygyny and you change your mind, okay? you know, and just she'll respect you more. Now, I know there's women out there who probably will reach 12 minutes in fucking 12 seconds now, okay, um, of this video, who may rarely watch this video, but that's the, that's the consequences of the conglomerate of women trying to, trying to take advantage of the system, and the system is going to turn on its head, it's not going to cater to women anymore. I said this many years ago to women. I said that don't you think that if enough women do this, it's going to turn on its head. No longer will they listen to your side. You say you was raped, now they're going to need video footage. You're going to have to start chopping some dicks like a lot of crackers you're trying to chop. Okay, Because it's usually, <laughs> you don't chop a black man's dick. Okay, so um, I don't know what y'all white, what y'all people you people, you women, the gay who are thinking, oh, I'm going to get a, a white man, okay? I'm like, that's not, it's not going to fly, okay? So I don't know how that's going to work in a court of law because I put a, a jinx on it, put in a magic spell, all that lying and that double tongue and shit. No, no. I recommend any woman who's watching me to do as I say in my previous videos. And I recommend you guys to try to up your game, okay? Because women will only step in the line when you step in line first. Okay. You step in line first and you will guarantee a winning at the cup. Just make sure you donate and basically give your love, okay? You want to say love to a brother who's actually from another mother, okay, right? Listen, it's discretion is advised. I love you all, but I hate the many of you, okay? And I'm not your average man. I'm not your beat up man. Jeez. Hope you learned something here. Uh, you did. Okay, you, you probably ain't gonna hear me until it's too late, but... Kudos to you and adios to you. Peace.